Okay, after much anticipation, I finally got my puzzle from my brother. And it's much bigger than I expected. That's what she said. I'm gonna open it up, see what it's all about. And uh, hopefully get to solving a puzzle today. Now I will say that I was hoping to sit down and have a nice glass of scotch and take a look at this puzzle, but it's noon and I have responsibilities. So actually, we've got this huge box here for this. Huge box, little box. Whew, I'm just gonna just dive right in. Okay, bits and pizzas, little bit, bits and pizzas. It's not bits and pizzas, it's bits and pieces. Bits and pieces, clever products, intriguing gifts. Let's just see what this is. It is wooden. <laughs> so it is a spark plug stuck in a box. There's no glass or anything here. It's got two little rods, one on each side, and it's got a legitimate spark plug in there. I wonder if it's a spark plug for something cool. All right, I'm gonna read the paper. It came with a paper, so I'm gonna read the paper. It says, get charged, item number 42739, designed by Jean-Claude Constantine. The object of this brain teaser is to release the spark plug. You should not have to use any force to try to remove the pin. Doing so may cause damage with the ceramic part of the spark plug. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I think that was a solution. I, I read what I said out loud. I have come to the conclusion that that is probably a solution on that piece of paper. So this is going in my drawer. Not to be read. I hope I didn't just. I hope I didn't just ruin that. That's gonna piss me off big time if I just ruined it. All right, I'm gonna get to solving it. Okay, so doesn't look like any of the wood moves or slides. Got the two pins in there. They do slide back and forth quite a bit. So that one slides. That one slides, but they don't slide enough to pop out. Furthermore, there's a, a hole here for the spark plug. Is that screwed in? It's not screwed in. Nope, okay. There's a little spot right here. I don't know if you see that. A little wood plug that they put in, only on one of the sides. Hmm. Man, that moves quite a bit. Does it sound like it's hitting something? Like metal? Sounds like it's hitting something metal. Does this one do that? No. Oh, maybe it does. No, that sounds different. That's definitely metal. I think that's magnetic. Oops. Because that's not going to fit. It's too small, no matter where you go. Down there, up there, over. So one of the rods has to come out. And I'm assuming it'd be this one, because it seems like they did something to this one, having that wood plug there. But this one makes the metal sound. It feels like there's so much movement there. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Oh man. Got 
that out. Got that out. Got that. Boom. Man, that was pretty clever. I wonder what's in there. Oh. You hit it. Whoops. Yep, I went back. So there's something. There's something in here. I would assume held in with a magnet that prevents this little rod right here from sliding all the way up and popping out. So I bet if I just give another whack, I can put this bad boy back in. Pop this little nugget in there. Like so. And yep, pop it like that. And then, yep. Boom. That's it. All right. Well, that was the spark plug puzzle. I see you, Justin. All right, we're going to come up with something clever to send you next time. That was a pretty good one. I think it looks really neat, though. All right. Pretty cool puzzle. Thanks, Justin. I'm going to come up with something good to send you next time, but I really like this puzzle. I thought it was pretty fun to figure out. What gave it away to me was that little metal sound. Hear that? I knew something was blocking that one pin because it didn't do it on the other side, and that was what helped me figure it out. And I just give it a good whack. Boom. Maybe a little harder whack. Oh, a little harder whack. There you go. And uh, as you can see, it knocks that little rod loose, and then you can pull everything apart. All right, that's that. If you have an idea of a good puzzle I could send my brother to mess him up, nothing too crazy, but something good, let me know. I'll check it out and I'll send it to him. So see you next time.